Hello friends. So in this video we are going to discuss about another uh, basic elementary signal which is the signum function. Okay. So it is also used in the analysis of signals and systems. It is one of the basic elementary signals. Now it is defined as this. The signum function is represented as S G N will always be a function of t in the continuous time domain and it is represented as the value of the signal is 1 for t greater than 0 for time the positive time and minus 1 for t lesser than 0 the negative time so as you can see the waveform of the signal will look something like this. First, let us draw the time axis, then the amplitude, here is signum t. So, for positive time, its value is plus 1 constant and for negative time, value is minus 1. Okay. So this is what the signum function looks like. Actually, this uh, there can be some confusion related to why what is the value of this signal at t equals to zero. So basically, there is a discontinuous jump here from zero to one because the time interval from where the the value of the time it changes from 0 to any other value greater than 0 it is very difficult to measure so basically you, this is the representation that you will find in uh, most of the textbooks and everywhere that you find this is the representation of the signum function which is it is equal to 1 for the positive time and minus 1 for the negative time okay so this is the continuous time representation of the signal function. Now, for converting it into discrete time again, we have to take a number of samples of this signal at equidistant time intervals by the process of sampling following Nyquist sampling theorem. So, if we take the samples at equidistant points, it will look something like this. We take the samples similarly here take the samples it will look something like this okay the in the discrete time domain so always the amplitude will remain constant plus 1 for the positive time minus 1 for the negative time so this is the signum function okay it's very simple and very easy to remember plus 1 for positive time minus 1 for negative time okay Another important thing, the signum function is also represented in terms of the unit step function. Okay, the signum function is represented as minus one plus two or twice of the unit step function. Okay, so let us see how it is possible. So we know that the unit step function is something like this okay this is the unit step function okay so it is its value ut is represented as 1 for t greater than or equal to 0 and as 0 for t lesser than 0 okay so if we have to plot the signal to ut it means it will be 2 the value will be 2 for t greater than or equal to 0 so here it will become 2 for greater than or equal to 0 and 0 for the negative 
okay so now if we have to add minus 1 to it okay so if we have to add minus 1 means a constant magnitude minus 1 okay we have to add here minus 1 okay this is the time so what will be if we add both these signals what will be the result okay if we add these signals again here it is 0 here it is 0 so the net output will be this for positive time it will be 2 plus minus 1 for the positive time here it is the value is 2 and here the value is minus 1 okay and this is 2 ut so the for the positive time interval here it is 2 plus minus 1 for t greater than 0 the value here it is 2 here it is minus 1 so it will become 2 plus minus 1 it will become plus 1 the value for t greater than 0 and for t lesser than 0 here it is 0 okay here it is 0 and here it is minus 1 so 0 plus minus 1 is minus 1 so again this is the signum function this is the signum function okay so we got the signum function by using this expression minus 1 plus 2 ut okay so this is how the signum function is also represented using the unit step function okay